Hey yo, what up, slackers? Today is Dragon Ball episode number 6. Also, there's no new words to expand your lexicon because I just didn't prepare for it. So, if you're looking for it, then turn it off and just go screw yourself. And if not, then let's go get right, right into it. Uh, in episode number 5, Goku, Bulma, and Oolong, now Oolong has joined them on their trip, they've uh, basically encountered uh, Yamcha and his pal, Puar. Yamcha is this, like, handsome, black-haired dude, um, and Puar is this little flying blue cat. And uh, they, they're a bandit. They're, the, the two of them is, um, yeah, they form a bandit in the desert, and it's called the Diablo Desert. And, um, yeah, they, uh, they had a fight uh, with, so Yamcha had a fight with Goku, um, it was, it was like a nice sparring session, and Goku, uh, yeah, Goku was kind of like beat for the first time that uh, we've seen since the Dragon Ball series started. So that means Yamcha, he's got, he's got something, but he, we also, we also know that Goku is also quite powerful. So, uh, at the end, um, Yamcha, yeah, Yamcha, um, ran away because he saw Bulma. But Bulma was initially knocked out. Uh, actually, not knocked out. It, she actually uh, passed out because of the heat stroke. As they uh, lost their mode of transportation, She Bulma lost her capsules to transform into all those different uh, automobiles or vehicles. So, um, yeah, when Bulma woke up from her heat stroke, Yamcha saw her and he t turned completely red because he was so shy that he can never be in the presence of any women or, or girls. And, uh, yeah, and Bulma also saw Yamcha. So, he, um, yeah, he ran off and he swear he's gonna come back. So now, in episode number six, as the day gets to the, um, as, as the day gets, uh, a little, a little, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the, the day gets to its end, it's getting dark, and Oolong still has one capsule left, and I guess, I guess in, in the Dragon Ball series, each capsule can spawn into something different. Bulma's capsules can spawn into a hotel-looking lodge, m more like a house, um, a car, or a motorcycle, or a boat, all those things, but she's lost all of them, and, um, yeah, the, the, the one capsule that Oolong has, and apparently he didn't steal Bulma's capsules, which she accused him of, but his only capsule uh, can spawn into a double-decker RV, like a motorhome. Um, but it's a really old one. Um, and Bulma uh, straight away complains about the bad condition of the dirty bus. And uh, yeah, so Bulma then... And she said she was going to go take a shower because she needed to clean herself up. And in the meantime, Goku uh, chats with Oolong and he starts telling Oolong why they were on a quest to like, look for the Dragon Balls. And he told Oolong about the power of all three, uh, I mean, collecting all seven Dragon Balls. And as he was speaking to Oolong, little did he know that Yamcha and his his pal, Puar, they were hiding right outside the bus because they were trying to come back and get their revenge. But over they overheard Goku and Oolong's conversation, so now they also know about the Dragon Balls and their power. Uh, coincidentally, Emperor Pilaf's two associates, um, Shu and Mai, they were also outside the bus as Goku and uh, Oolong were chatting, and Bulma was showering. And uh, Shu, uh, so one of the associate, was trying to set a bomb on the bus, but unfortunately the bomb stuck to his hand, and he, uh, he couldn't get it off, so he, it's a ticking bomb, so he uh, delayed the time to, to blow up so that you know, it wouldn't blow up uh, on his hand. And uh, they were trying to, yeah, just get the bomb off of his hand. I guess it just, there was some kind of glue that stuck on his hand. And as they were doing this, Yamcha and Puar, they were uh, trying to get, to, uh, find a way to get into, or to sneak into the bus, rather. But then, 
as Yamcha was like trying to find a, 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 a door or a window, he found a window and looking into the window, he saw nothing or none other than Bulma's boobs. That that scene right there, that powerful, powerful scene has stunned Yamcha. As we know, he's shy in the presence of girls, let alone in the presence of boobs. And bare naked boobs, bare naked Bulma boobs. Um, he was, yeah, he was dumbfounded. And then, uh, yeah, he screams and runs away. And as Puar was trying to run after him, he was asking, yeah, he asking, like, what's going on? So Yamcha told him, yeah, uh, when I, well, I, I don't know if Yamcha actually explained to Puar what he saw. Um, yeah, those, uh, those nice knockers. Or uh, was he just saying that he explained to Puar that once he, he, uh, he, he gets his Dragon Ball, he collects all seven of his Dragon Ball, which is the same, there's only seven Dragon Ball, so he's gonna get after the Dragon Ball uh, at all his might because he needs them to get rid of his fear for girls. And he he told Puar that once he collects the seven Dragon Balls, his wish to Shenron will be um, find a girl to marry, or at least to go on a date. And, yeah. That is, yeah, that is naive boy Yamcha. Well, it's, it's kind of cute, right? If you're, like, 16, that's really kind of cute. But if you're, like, uh, a, 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 yeah, if you're, like, 20 in your 20s or 30s, come on, dude. Your wish... Your only wish after you collect all seven Dragon Balls is to be not to be shy around girls anymore. Come on, Yamcha, you can do better than that. At least get to like third base, okay? Just make sure that you ask for a little more. Keep pushing it. Pu keep pushing Shenron. How about like make all the girls um, that you meet be attracted to you. That's a better deal than not to be shy around girls because uh, by his profession, being a bandit in the desert, he's probably not going to meet that many. So I doubt that he's going to really utilize that opportunity to, uh, yeah, to not be shy around girls in the desert. That aside, I think he is a pretty nice, he is a pretty nice guy, Yamcha, I gotta say. He is a pretty nice guy. So is Goku. So, I really like those two of them. Um, yeah, back to the wagon, or the house wagon. Um, Oolong tells Bulma, you know, Bulma came down after sh she showered. Of course, she was totally unaware of what has happened outside. And Oolong tells Bulma he's going to um, wash up later. And unfortunately, he doesn't keep any women's attires in the bus which I think is a lie given how much a pervert he is. Um, so Bulma is kind of pissed because there's nothing for her in the bus. So she told them she was going to go to bed. And Oolong gives Goku and Bulma a drink. And he, told, he tells them that, he, well, Bulma drinks it right away, but Goku didn't. Oolong tells Goku that's, that's a, a drink that's going to make him more powerful. So Goku also drinks it. But little did he know that Ulal has put sleepy grass. I guess this is one of his, um, yeah, one of his secret ingredients to get women um, into the drink. And basically, it just puts whoever drinks it fast asleep. And yeah, it's kind of like a melatonin, except it works a lot faster. Um, and now, Bulma's. Bulma's, as Bulma's uh, going upstairs, she told Oolong not to come into her bedroom because uh, she's going to bed. And Goku is now basically knocked out cold. And, uh, yeah, and, and uh, Oolong, you know, and Bulma also uh, falls asleep upstairs. So Oolong 
of course, no, you know, knowing the person that he is, uh, snuck into the bedroom of Boma and stole the Dragon Balls, all of her Dragon Balls, not only the Dragon Balls, but also her panty. Um, yeah, you little pervert oolong. Yeah, if I were you, I would probably do it too. And a little extra. Um, uh, yeah, let's not go to the R-rated material here, because we're talking about Dragon Ball, not our fantasies about Bulma. Uh, so Yamcha and Puar, uh, they're unaware that Oolong was also sneaking into Bulma's room. So, uh, actually, yeah, so Yamcha and Puar actually came back and um, I guess they snuck into the bus without any of uh, these guys n noticing. Of course, Goku and uh, Bulma are out, and Oolong didn't notice. But he heard them as he was upstairs. He heard them coming up. So um, he didn't know that it was uh, the two bandits. He thought it was Goku. And, um, and yeah, so... Actually, Puar uh, transformed, conveniently transformed into the shape of Goku. Uh, but not exactly like Goku, but close enough. And, um, yeah, so, I, I, yeah, so, okay. So, the so sequence is, Oolong got out of the bedroom, and he meets the, uh, the Puar version of Goku, and he thought it was really Goku, and he was so surprised that, Hey, Goku, you woke up so quickly after, um, after just a little nap with the powerful, uh, sedative. <laughs> so, um, and Puar also, yeah, and, you know, um, um, yeah, before he actually, okay, so before he actually, um, met the Puar version of Goku, Oolong transformed into the, um, into a chubby version, and a, yeah, a chubby version of Boma, um, just after she, the way that she, she walked out of the shower with a towel around her waist, and, um, so Oolong told Goku to go away. Well, of course, in reality is, uh, sorry, Boma, Boma with a towel wrapped around her told Goku to go away. In reality, it was Oolong, think Oolong telling Puar to go away, thinking that was he he was telling uh, Goku to go away, and Puar, um, of course, uh, thought it was Boma, and then he starts to uh, to 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 get out of yeah he starts to get out of the uh, uh, get off the stairs and get back downstairs. And then, upstairs, um, Yamcha is trying to look for Dragon Balls in the dark because he didn't want to disturb uh, anyone in the, in, the, in the bedroom, and I guess he didn't know that it was Bulma there. So, as he was searching in the dark, feeling his way around, he, uh, he put his hands under the blanket and grabbed some balls. Literally. Okay, not that he found the Dragon Balls, but he found Bulma's boobs, all right. And those were nice and round, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is, this is awesome. And he thought that those were Dragon Balls initially. And then he realized what he has grabbed. And, yeah, yeah, being Yamcha, he dashed out of the, the, uh, the house wagon immediately. And Puar and Oolong also just quickly... You know, as they were playing off of each other's uh, transformation, transformed shapes, they quickly realized what each other were doing, and yeah, they they uh they they basically just got out of that tangent and transformed back. And Puar saw uh, Yamcha dashing out of Bulma's bedroom, and he also ran after him. Um, I guess after that, Oolong was scared shitless. And, uh, because he, uh, yeah, he, he, he knew he was gonna be in trouble and he was gonna be at the mercy of Bulma's wrath the next morning. So he, uh, he just hid in the bus. And then the night was over. 
next morning, uh, Shu and Mai actually was able to finally get the bomb um, off of Shu's hand and they strapped it to the bus and they set the timer to one hour. And then Bulma woke up and she the, the only clothes that she was able to find on Ulong's bus was uh, a costume, but not a just any costume. It was a Playboy bunny, a Playmate costume, a bunny outfit. So she puts those on. Nice. See, that's why we like Dragon Ball. It's all got these little, this little dirty, um, yeah, dirty humor that really gets, it really spices up the story and uh, gets us hooked. And Ulo was driving, and Goku was uh, playing a uh, shotgun. And then he noticed in the rear view that there were two. Uh, there were two cars behind them, and then it's of course it's Yamcha and Puar again, because they failed to to uh, take the Dragon Ball in the darkness of the night, so they came and they came at it again, and yeah, so what what they did actually was they fired missiles at the bus, and they missed the bus, but they but they uh. Uh, distracted Oolong enough that he has to swerve and the bus uh, yeah and, and he crashed the bus him and, and uh, Goku was able to get out so Oolong and Goku were able to get out but Bulma I believe Bulma was uh, was not uh, getting out in time so she got knocked out and as the bus was kind of laying on, the, on its side and Goku engaged Yamcha uh, in a fight, of course, and this time Goku knocked Yamcha's tooth out, and uh, Puar transformed into a mirror to show Yamcha that he's now missing a tooth. Yamcha is, yeah, he was, what, what do you call it? He was so distraught, dilapidated, um, that now no uh, no girl's gonna ever like him because he's missing a tooth. So, um, he, uh, he runs away crying, and Goku and Oolong, um, then went back to the bus to ca carry Bulma out of the bus, because, uh, yeah, she, uh, yeah, she, she was unconscious due to the impact of the crash. And then, as they, as they got Bulma out, Shu and Mai arrived, and they're wondering why the bus has flipped. Uh, instead of blown up. So, uh, yeah, given their curiosity and where are the Dragon Balls, so they went into the bus to look for the Dragon Balls. Then the bus exploded as they were inside, and, um, yeah, they, they survived, of course, <laughs> um, amazingly. And then Goku and, uh, and Oolong, now with Bulma still unconscious, they were carrying her, and they really didn't know what to do now, because they don't have any more transportation. The bus was destroyed, and all Bulma's capsules, those uh, magic capsules, are gone. So they have to be on foot. And uh, to their surprise, Yamcha and Puar stormed back. This time, Yamcha apologized, and he said they can have his car. And he gave Goku and Oolong his car for real. But of course, he didn't do this for no reason out of a goodwill. Rather, his car has a radar on it, and Yamcha's scheme was that as Goku and Bulma um, and, and Oolong, so I guess Goku and company are gonna collect all three Dragon Balls, Yamcha plans to steal the Dragon Balls at the very last minute and to steal the opportunity to make that wish. So, that is the end of Dragon Ball Episode 6. It's, uh, yeah, there's a lot of action and a lot of R-rated scene. It's, uh, it's definitely worth watching if, uh, you haven't seen it. And Bulma was as, um, as feisty and hot as always. You can tell I'm a fan of not go not only Goku, but also Bulma. Um, but of course, you know, the, yeah, 
the story only gets more and more interesting as more and more characters um, shows up and uh, becomes part of the story. So I guess the moral of the story is, um, number one, don't be shy around girls. And number two, if you are shy around girls, there's a huge cost to trying to fix it. In Yamcha's case, he has to collect all seven Dragon Balls and make a, a, a wish to, the, to the, the dragon, the Shenron, in order to, uh, to fix the problem. So, guys, don't be shy around girls. And just, yeah, just be yourself, okay? If you believe that, if you believe that bullshit, be yourself, then you will happily be alone for the rest of your life. Don't be yourself. Pretend to be someone who you're not. Uh, fake it. Um, yeah, fake it until you make it. I guess, and uh, yeah, just try to pretend to be someone who you're not until um, you've, uh, yeah, um, until you've gotten that girlfriend, and then you can be your real self and be an ass to her, okay?